Throughout the years, the Union for Reform Judaism's Maurice Eisenrath Bearer of Light Award has recognized the extraordinary contributions of individuals, including Abba Eben, Michael J. Fox, and at our last biennial, David Boys and Ted Olson. You may have heard of them recently. This summer, they won a little under-the-radar Supreme Court case striking down a key part of the Defense of Marriage Act and advancing the cause of marriage equality. Tonight, we are delighted to add a new name to the list of distinguished honorees who reflect the quality of service to others that guided Rabbi Eisendrath and his leadership of the Union for Reform Judaism. Few people embody more directly than Jay Feinberg the words of the Talmud, whoever saves a life has saved an entire world. The Gift of Life Bone Marrow Registry that Jay founded and continues to lead has made more than 10,000 matches in the past two decades. And no one knows better than Jay what it means to find those matches. In 1995, after searching for more than four years for a match to help treat his own leukemia, it was the last person at the last donor drive that was his match and lifesaver. Along the way, he inspired more than 55,000 people to get tested and enter the Merrill Registry. The URJ is very proud that in the last year, we have embarked on a formal partnership with Gift of Life. Spearheaded by staff at our Religious Action Center, a campaign to increase participation in the Bone Marrow Registry that we launched this past Yom Kippur had the participation of 35 congregations in 16 states and resulted in 3,061 new donors swabbed into the registry. From drives just at our URJ camps, at least two matches have been found. Thanks to Jay and Gift of Life, we are helping save the world, one cheek swab at a time. My story begins uh, back in the early 90s when I was fresh out of college, uh, starting a career in finance in New York City and sort of felt like I was ready to take on the world and nothing could stop me. And uh, it was uh, shortly into that new career, I started to feel like I had the onset of the flu one weekend when I was down the Jersey Shore and was soon thereafter told that I had leukemia and that the only hope of a cure was a bone marrow transplant. About 30% of patients out there have a family member who's a suitable match and there's a one in four chance that you'll be a, a, a perfect match with one of your siblings. So we immediately tested my, uh, my two brothers, and as it turned out, they were perfect matches for each other, uh, not a match for me. The doctor uh, told us the news that there was no match, and really told me to go home and prepare my bucket list and do the things I wanted to do in life. And it happened to be that my mother was in the room, and um, like any mother, in particular a Jewish mother, wasn't about to see her, uh, her child die. Leaving that appointment, we made a decision to grow the registries domestically and internationally to help find that match. Instead of sitting back and doing nothing, we were going to do something that would be impactful and that uh, God willing would uh, help find a match for me and for the countless other patients who were in similar circumstances. So that really was the initiation of, uh, of Gift of Life. Before we knew it, we were getting calls from all over the United States and actually all over the world, including in Israel, to run drives on my behalf. Fortunately for me, a young college student in Chicago decided, I'm gonna run one last drive. On the morning of the drive, um, one of his friends, a, a next door neighbor, couldn't go. So her sister, Becky, went in her place. Sure enough, Becky turned out to be my match and saved my life. And that really brought us to where we are today as an international donor registry helping patients out there in need. If it wasn't for Jay Fiber and Gift of Life and the people that came before me, the people that loaded the database with potential Jewish donors so that I had a donor when I needed a donor, then my life wouldn't have been saved. And so I needed to pay it forward. I needed to help those people who will come after me. And all of a sudden, a light bulb went off. And I said, you know what? 
should work with kids who are bar bat mitzvah kids and have them start running bone marrow drives in their community. I can't begin to tell you what this has been like. I, I just had one maybe a week ago, okay, where a kid got notified that, that at her bat mitzvah, during the cocktail party, she ran a drive, and somebody at that cocktail party was called to be a donor. This year was the first year that URJ partnered with Gift of Life to run bow marrow drives on Yom Kippur in Temple. And we had 35 synagogues who stepped up to the plate and ran bow marrow drives, and we registered over 3,000 people. We recruit in the Jewish community in a variety of different ways, and one way is through a tremendous partnership we have established with the URJ through a camp program called Finding the Hero in You at Camp. It's a simple cheek swab to, uh, to join the registry. As Jews and as people, it's our job to make sure that everyone has the best life that they can lead. And for me, giving this person any kind of life was, was important, and I just I felt honored to be able to help this person and their family. The true heroes here are the Beckys of the world, the bone marrow donors, the people who unreservedly give of themselves to save the lives of total strangers. Jay's mother, who you just saw in that film, became very ill just a few days ago, and he regretfully is unable to be with us. But to accept the Eisendrath Award on his behalf is Evie Goldfein, who you also just saw in the video, a member of Temple Isaiah in Lexington, Massachusetts, and one of Gift of Life's champions. She created the Hero of Life program for B'nai Mitzvah students to run bone marrow drives in their communities partnered with Congregation Beth Elohim in Wellesley, Massachusetts to hold the first Yom Kippur swab drive and has helped save lives by lifting the number of people in the bone marrow registry. Please welcome Evie Goldfein. Thank you. My name is Evie Goldfein. I am alive today because of the work of Jay Feinberg and the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Foundation. Eight years ago, I was a recipient of a stem cell transplant. I am here tonight to accept this most prestigious award on Jay's behalf. Jay Feinberg is one in a million. He is a true mensch who is guided by the phrase from the Talmud, he who has saved one life, it is as if he has saved the entire world. Every patient who is saved through a transplant is an entire world to his or her friends, family, and community. You saw Jay's mother in the video, the woman who wouldn't take no for an answer, the woman who was not going to let her son die, the woman who started a grassroots campaign to increase representation of the Jewish people in the bone marrow registry. Well, she too has cancer, and these are the last days of her life, and Jay just couldn't leave her side. So on behalf of Jay, I'm here to say thank you. Thank you so much. Jay is truly humbled by this recognition, but I must tell you that he would say that the true honorees are the bone marrow and blood stem cell donors who save lives each and every day. They are ordinary people who do the extraordinary. <laughs> yes. Um, do we have, okay, meet Sarah. She's six years old. She loves gymnastics, going to camp, playing with her friends and Justin Bieber. Four rounds of chemotherapy and 50 blood transfusions have not provided a cure for Sarah's leukemia. She desperately needs her miracle match and that person could be you. Children like Sarah are the reason why URJ and Gift of Life have partnered to develop three initiatives to educate and motivate our community to take action. As representatives of North America's reform congregations, each of you has the power to save Sarah's life and the lives of countless, pa countless patients suffering from life-threatening illnesses. Statistically, if we registered another 75,000 Jewish patients, 
we could save the life of almost every Jew who needed a transplant. That is an attainable goal. The first initiative was launched this fall. Swabachik Inscribed for Life is a groundbreaking program that provides congregations with the opportunity to perform the ultimate mitzvah by hosting bow marrow drives during the high holidays. Now I know what you're thinking. You're saying, oh my God, this is a logistical nightmare. There's no way that we can do this at our temple. But as you saw in the video, this year, 35 URJ congregations across the country participated in the program. Rest assured, Gift of Life and the RAC will provide all the materials, all the support, and all the guidance needed. Yom Kippur represents an important opportunity to touch the lives of all congregants, some of whom may pass through the synagogue doors only once a year. It is an incredible opportunity to inspire and engage those hard to reach members in a very meaningful way. The second initiative, the Hero for Life program, gives B'nai Mitzvah students the chance to organize bow marrow drives as their mitzvah projects. The students gain valuable leadership and life skills that keep them engaged in the Jewish community while at the same time helping to advance the growth of the registry and save lives. We see this as the beginning of a lifelong commitment to their Jewish roots and doing mitzvot. Some of these students are now running drives as part of their community service requirements in high school, and we hope that this commitment will continue through college and into adulthood. Isn't that what it's all about, keeping the youth engaged in something meaningful for the Jewish community and beyond? And finally, the third project, the Martin Luther King Jr. Initiative addresses the challenge of finding donors for patients in another underrepresented population by organizing donor recruitment drives at historically black churches and colleges. In order to have a bone marrow or stem cell transplant, both donor and recipient must have a matching tissue type, which is inherited. Therefore, the best chance of finding a matching donor lies with those of similar race or ethnic ancestry. Because of the, tar because of the targeted recruitment of Jay Feinberg and the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Foundation, Ashkenazi Jewish pa patients now have a greater than 70% chance of finding a matching donor. In the early 90s, it was less than a 5% chance. That is an amazing move of the needle, and we'd like to see that kind of change in the statistics for communities of color that are currently not well represented in the global registry. At Gift of Life, our mission is simple a match anywhere, anytime, for anyone. <clears throat> so, thank you. Stop by Gift of Life's booth to find out more about these and other programs and become a potential donor. A simple cheek swab is all it takes to be in the registry. I will conclude by acknowledging those individuals that Jay wished to personally thank. These are Jay's words verbatim. I would like to thank Isaac Newell, Daphne Price, and Veronica Grant from the RAC, and Tamara Hotchman from Gift of Life for their tireless efforts on behalf of the partnership. To Rick Jacobs, Jonah Pesner, and David Saperstein, thank you for taking a leadership role and making such an ambitious and life-saving partnership possible. And most notably, to Gift of Life's real founder, my mother, Arlene Feinberg, who wouldn't take no for an answer when the doctor told her to take her son home and prepare his bucket list. It is her picture you will see in the Wikipedia definition of Jewish mother. Thank you.